Hello guys, this is Sanjana Parihar, uh, intern at Lexus and Company and I am pursuing BLLB, this is my first year. Uh, today we will discuss the use of technology in judiciary these days due to COVID pandemic and what are the challenges that they are facing. Uh, now recently while dealing with the issues arising in the con uh, connection with the COVID portal, the Supreme Court pointed out some of the major uh, impediments in the delivery of vaccines to the people at large. Uh, major impediments are inadequate digital literacy uh, across the country, inadequate digital penetration and uh, uh, serious issues of bandwidth and connectivity, particularly in remote and inaccessible regions. And despite the ambition of bringing the benefits of vaccination to every human being in the country, the policy was falling short of its goal because of the inherent difficulties uh, pointed out. The premise of the observation of the court uh, was that relying solely on digital transformation may not be sound idea. It could result to exclusion of large sections of the population on the count of enumerated shortfalls. The similar changes are being faced by the judicial system by using technology and dispensation of justice. Now, what are the efforts that judiciary is putting right now during the pandemic? Uh, in the wake of pandemic, courts began using facilities like e-filing uh, in true earnest. Uh, in May 2020, the Supreme Court also introduced another innovation, a new system of e-filing and artificial, uh, artificial intelligence enabled referencing. Uh, this was meant to herald efficiency, transparency and access to code delivery services for every user. Now, uh, the judiciary effort is not merely, uh, merely uh, one of action to overcome the pandemic created emergency. It also seeks to harness technology in, in overcoming and uh, resolving the intractable ills that have for long dog the judiciary. These include the massive blockage of the cases and acceptable levels of judiciary vaccines across the country at all levels. Uh, now the latest vision documents of phase 3 of the eCorp project seeks to address the judiciary's digital deprivation. Uh, what are the issues associated with this digital solution of the judiciary? Uh, it is not a panacea deployed with uh, inadequate database planning of sa and safeguard technological tools can be game changer. However, technology is not per se value natural. Uh, that is, it is not immune to biases and therefore it uh, must be po properly evaluated to see whether it works to increase the power of imbalance citizen between the citizens and the state or whether it affirms and furthers the citizens' right. Maintaining e-court records, hacking and cyber security was always a problem. Uh, lawyers in semi-urban and rural districts are uh, you know, uh, unfamiliar with the work, way of working and the connectivity issues are always there. Other issues might involve the litigants lack of confidence in the process due to lack of proximity. Uh, now, I guess according to me, uh, in my opinion, uh, the way forward towards uh, this problem should be frequent performance of audits. Uh, deep house cleaning is required to each court and then also needs to be an outreach of litigants uh, in the cost effective, convenient and insufficient, uh, efficient uh, manner. Uh, evidence based rational approach uh, address uneven digital access while mobile phones are widely owned and used. Access to internet, uh, internet remains limited uh, to the urban areas only. Filling up the vacancies as there are like 38% of vacant uh, seats in high court uh, in 2018 and 19 and low courts 22% for the same period. More than 4 out of every 10 posts of high court judge is vacant. Infrastructure deficit, open courts is a cardinal principle in the delivery justice. The question public access cannot pushed to the sideline but, but must be central consideration. Now, perhaps this could be the opportune time for making lasting change uh, that could transform the creaking justice delivery system in India as this was always a problem for India, pendency. And so this is the time where we can overcome it. 
so this was all for today if there's any question related to or any feedback as it was solely based on the things that i've noted down uh, and gone through the articles on my own uh, so if there's anything that you like to say about the content or if there's any question or any feedback do let me know in the comment section uh, and follow like click for more videos like this if you like the content this video does not solicit any kind of advertisement or promotion according to bar council of india this is for educational purposes only thank you